What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be basically kind of showing y'all how I do my wiring harnesses when I'm running two dual fog lights in the front. So for harness sake and such, so we don't have a lot of different harnesses, I'm actually going to combine some plugs to one single harness. So basically that's what I'm going to be showing y'all. So with the FCK pod, they actually come with plugs as well as a wiring harness. So these are the connectors that come with the wiring harness. And these were actually wired on, but as you can tell, I've already cut it. So I can splice them together and have my own connection on both sides from one single harness. So that's kind of what I'm showing y'all today. The first thing I'm gonna do is take off this black coating so I can get my two wires free of each other. And then we're gonna take this and take the wire off. Ta -da! Same thing on this side. Now we're gonna butt connect the red with the red and the black with the black, and then we will attach it to this side. All right, so now we're gonna connect the two red together with a butt connector. I like to use uninsulated ones because I just feel like I can get a way better crimp on them and then tighten them down. <laughs> and I do both sides. I don't know if anyone else does both sides. I do because I don't like to take any chances. And then we're just going to do a little tug test, make sure it doesn't come out, and then do the same thing on the black wires. All right, so now we've got our red to red and our black to black. Now we can take the end that goes to our harness and open up this coating to expose our wires. Same thing, we're gonna strip these wires. Beautiful. Now this is a key part. Make sure you add your heat shrink on the wire before you crimp it. I've done that. It sucks. Don't do that. Get a good crimp. Same thing, tug test, beautiful. And then do it on the same side with the black. Heat shrink, over, and then you can crimp it. Once you have both sides crimped, like so, you can put your heat shrink over top of them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and electrical tape this and then we're ready to plug it in. And voila, there you have it. You've got your new harness that has two plugs on one side. Now we can just go ahead and plug these in. Zip tie it all up where, where you need to have it so that it's tucked up and out of the way. And then we will uh, attach it to the battery cable and then I'll show y'all how I wired it into the auxiliary switch on the control panel by the HVAC. So. Alrighty, so I went to O'Reilly's to try to find the pins that I need for this connector and they don't have them, so we had to have them ordered, but basically it's the pin that goes in the back side of here. Yeah, like the quarter flat pins that are in there. So they don't have any, so we ordered some, so they'll be back tomorrow. And so in the meantime, I wanted to check to make sure everything was working and was going to work. So this is the current setup that I have on my little connector. So this is the other side that this connector plugs into. So it goes in literally just like that. So this would be one, auxiliary one. Below that is two, three, and then four. So right now I have it plugged into auxiliary two with just a test lead. It's just this little flat pin, I plugged it in there. And then to connect my jumper, I have a test lead from here to the other side of my wiring harness. So my wiring harness is right here. I took out the signal wire out of it and plugged it into my test lead right here so that I can test everything once I have it turned on. So now I'm gonna go in the cab, turn on auxiliary two, 
come back over here and then put power to my harness. Alrighty, so now we're in the truck. It looks a little crazy in here right now, but so these are the auxiliary switch panel that we're using. So auxiliary two is the one that I have hooked up to that particular harness for the fog lights. So we're gonna press auxiliary two. It's gonna hold it on because that's the setting that I have for it right now, which is the latching setting. So now that it's on, it's sending power to that unit. So now we're gonna go back down there and put power to the harness. So I'm gonna put power to that harness and then the LED lights will come on. Ta-da! Everything's on, everything's functioning, and good to go. So once that pin comes in, then I can hook everything up and make sure everything's coherent, but that's just like a quick way of testing it, especially when I'm waiting for parts and terminals and such like that. So there you go, there's your fog lights. Now you can also tap into the same harness if you wanted the fog lights to be run on the same switch as the light bar. However, I'm actually gonna run a separate harness for the light bar because I don't want to have the light bar and the pods on the same switch so that I can actually drive with the pods when I want. Um, especially like on the highway at night when it's like super vacant. And whereas I don't prefer to drive on highways and public roads with a light bar on because it's just way overpowering. So where I'm going to have those on two different switches, which is why I wired them the way that they are. But that is an option. If y'all want to do that, you can splice into the harness that are the jumpers and run everything on the front end if you so choose. Being that they're LED, they don't take as much power, but if you keep adding on more and more and more and more and more to one harness, that's when you're gonna start running into problems. So just be mindful of that. Aside from that, that's pretty much how you wire in your pods or whatever it is that you are wiring in to your auxiliary switches. So if you want me to go a little bit more in depth on the aux switches, I definitely can just drop it in the comments and I can make a totally separate video on that in and of itself if that's something that interests you. So thanks for watching guys. Hope that helps with your wiring stuff and hope y'all get lit.